Trial of Faith, Roswitha, Esther, you say. I'm probably saying it wrong, but hey, man, it was a board game. No one knew how to say it when it was... I, I never played the board. Actually, this is my introduction to 40k outside of Vermin's Hide, which, you know, I think a lot of people are into that one, but... I agree with everyone when I say, what everyone's saying right now, this is the best mobile 40k that's ever happened, or Warhammer in general. Um, I agree with that 100%. That's why I never knew anything about it, because usually they're all drunk. Why is this game so freaking good, man? Why am I already on a soapbox? We can't be. We can't be. We can't be, because then people start thinking I have anything to do with the creation of the game, and then I start getting insane Discord messages talking about, like, changes that need to be made in the game as if I'm a developer. I'm not a developer. I'm not being paid money. I have no money in my pockets from these people, man. I have nothing to do with them. Please, please, don't harass me. Go harass them, bro. Go harass them. But Roswitha Canonist over here carrying the torch and carrying the crossbow. What does this person do? Why do I not have them built? Why are they not even start up? Well, if you saw the character spotlight on Isabella over here, you already know why. And this is my healer. She's toxic, bro. If you're an onslaught, you lose somebody. You pick as Isabella as your next spawn, and then she summons them right back, and suddenly you have six characters in Onslaught, right? I mean, she's just a toxic uh, reviver, right? This is a healer that I have yet to even use. We're going to do a character spotlight on someone I have not touched because I am not interested in building another healer. And if this is not a healer, then I am mistaken, and the way that they look has misled me. You see a priest? You think it's a priest. Act of faith. Units crit damage increases by 25%. And, oh, okay, okay, so they have the thing where every single time an Imperial unit is defeated or gets a kill they're gonna get 10 percent crit chance and 25 percent crit damage that means when they have 40 percent crit chance boosted from four imperial units getting kills or being killed on your team you know she's gonna have 100 percent crit damage with that 40 percent crit chance if it goes up to 100 percent crit chance say there's 10 kills with your friendly imperial units involved in them you're gonna have a 250 percent crit damage shot with 100 percent chance it resets when you get a crit and then it comes right back up now this is over here is deals a 58 damage against psychers which sounds kind of lame what even is a psyker when attacking with a ranged psychic attack so i guess like she's anti like this dude right she's anti this yay okay well, i mean that's cool right i mean this is like a psyker yeah okay she's anti psyker she does more damage to psychers is, is this not a healer have I been mistaken this whole time? Wait a second. Deal two times of flame damage to a target enemy within two hexes and sets its hex on fire. Uh, deals uh, four times uh, versus de daemons instead. All daemons within two hexes of the target take 30 damage this round and the next. Um, She's an AoE flamethrower? Is she? Is this? Hold on. Do we have a better? A better? Uh, uh, Sinvicta? Do we have a better Vindicta? Why is she looking like this? What happened? Did she always look like this? What the heck? Is this... Can you guys confirm? Is Vindicta is she? Because I've been, like, actually on the fence if I'm saying it right. Because at the same time, not only does she look like... What was... What was... There's a UFC fighter that looks like her, right? Well, that's definitely female. But she also looks like the Hay Colonizer guy, like, modeled after him. And I can't figure out which one it is. It, it, someone please help me out here and don't be like the comment that we got that was saying that only women are vindictive so she must be a woman because uh, that was not okay anyways here we go man we got so we have uh, uh, two hits of a lot of flame damage which we already know what the deal is with flame damage right it's going to be a high set of piercing it's going to set the tile on fire if it's in grass it's going to burn around and it also does two hexes to target enemy within two hexes and sets its hex on fire okay i mean that's normal stuff it's a two range it's a range shot deals uh, four hits versus demons instead all demons within two hexes of the target take 30 damage this round and the next so it just applies an overall burn effect to anyone that is a demon now as far as demons go you're looking at things like these i believe right these little blood letters right here um i don't know what else would really like kind of fit the bill is there anything else that's like a demon anything at all like i don't know is this dude damon is that what this guy is is he is he a, he's a damon how what the heck okay so there actually is uh a class called damon this man's a psycho right here she's anti him is everything gonna be black what's happening my textures bro my texture i changed my textures around didn't i okay everyone looks cooler than they're supposed to and it's all thanks to me man anyways um so she's anti uh chaos in a huge way with her flamethrower she's like the anti chaos flamethrower is she any good though i don't know she has 200 hp and 48 defense she's got 76 damage she's got three movement she's got three 
Chain. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Attack adjacent enemies. Each attack scores three hits. Chain damage. What is this? 20% pierce ratio. And why do they have a different name for all of it? So she has a three hit attack, basically. Um, It doesn't look like it does anything crazy to anybody else. Each hit deals damage minus the opponent. I mean, that's normal. And then she has a... So that's her... Oh, God. Hey, guys. Lucid Fate. Let's go ahead and plug that now while we're at it. Um... She also has a bolter attack. So this is her melee attack. It hits three times for 20% pierce ratio. Uh, looks okay. Her range attack attacks enemies within two hexes. That's kind of normal. Cannot be used if adjacent to an enemy. Obviously, each attack scores two hits. Bolter damage. Uh, she seems to be, like, okay on the damage. I mean, really, I didn't even realize her damage number is pretty freaking high. Is this the, is this the nuker we've been looking for? It's like a safer nuker. It's like a nuker that doesn't get you killed. It's like, it's like Vindicta over here if she wasn't killing people, like your own team, right? It's like, it might be the better Vindicta. What is happening? What do you say we try her out in a little PvP? Is she built? Absolutely not. That's the funny part, man. We gotta get prepped for this, uh, for the live PvP mode that is on its way. This man has higher combat power than we're about to go in with, but that should be fine. It should be okay. Let's find out if it is okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, who comes off the team? Mm, to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna get rid of... I don't know, man. I don't want to get rid of my sniper, bro. I really don't, man. I'm just going uh, to get rid of the sniper. And we're going to go ahead and put this girl right. Hold on, hold on. What if we go double flamethrower strats, bro? Well, let's compare them side by side. Where's she at? Well, there she is. I was like, oh my god, I don't have her, clearly. Let's go. Let's put Vindicta down, too. Oh god, you're not supposed to go there. Actually, that's probably better. Start it up. Let's see what this person is all about. Um, stat-wise, very high damage. We we are aware of this. We love this. We know this. Um, am I in danger? I don't think I'm in danger. Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Let's let them come to us a little bit. We're not speedrunning this time around, so we're gonna play a little cautious, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Pop this, because we want the damage up. Um, we are gonna take some damage right now, but let's go ahead and compare a little damage real quick. Let's step right on up and smash a their man in the face. Because it's toxic. We die instantly. I need that to stop happening. So let's compare a little damage. Okay. Trash damage. Trash damage, right? We're aware of this. But what if we came in and did this instead and he blocks it? Okay, you know what? Here's the deal. We got to build this character clearly. We're not doing any damage to this guy at all. He's the most invincible man you've ever seen. We definitely should have hit him with our initial shot. He's definitely going to kill everybody we got, isn't he? He, he? He's going toxic mode on us, man. Uh, the basic attack looks like it's going to do some big damage, good stuff, but we got nothing accomplished, did we? Nothing at all. Please, someone die. We, we need to kill somebody. You need to get the heck out of here before you respawn somebody. She burns in the fire, the witch. She deserved it, man. She deserved it. We're going to step on back into our own fire because we toxic. And this is what I'm talking about. Vindicta going to get everybody you got killed, bro. That's her job. Okay, well, that didn't go so hot. Okay, so as far as like individual damage, she has no piercing, right? So I guess we're aware of that. What, what does she have going for her? Is she is she bad? There's another one right here, man. People like her. People really, really like her. This dude has higher combat power, though, so I feel like I want to go against people that have, like, combat power. Okay, let's see. What kind of what kind of team is this, though? Is there... There's not even a demon on this team. Maybe that's the issue here. Hold on. Let's retreat. I don't, I don't care that's a loss. Like, what are you trying to do? Be the number one 40k player in the world? Who are you kidding? Are you the number one? If not, don't at me, bro. We got a demon over here, I think. No, we don't. No one's rocking demons, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't do me dirty like this. I know there's got to be some demons in here somewhere. I know there's got to be. What is this? What is this? Volk? Um, that's got to be a demon, right? <laughs> this man has the lowest combat power in the world with a character I've never seen in my life. Uh, there's no deal. Here's the deal. Like, how are you going to use this if there's no demons available? Right? Like, is this? This dude wasn't. Yeah, they, no one uses demons, bro. No one you this is the most useless anti anti I've ever seen in my life. There's nobody in here that fits the bill at all. We're going to stop wasting this stuff, but no one fits the bill. Is this even a good character right now? This might be one of those characters that gets better with time and sucks right now. I'm not even getting like what the heck is going on. Look, we're going to try it up with this one. It is what it is. I, this might be a bad character right now. <laughs> um, we'll find out. I'm going to leave the team to kind of be what it is to give that comparison. But yikes on this one, man. I have a strong, strong suspicion. We got a, we got a tough character to get away with right now.
right now you know what i'm saying not forever this isn't she's not just put in the forever box she's not just useless but for now can we even use this girl like we'll find out man we'll find out but i got a firm suspicion this ain't gonna work out the way we wish it would let's so go ahead and pop this um let's go ahead and see what kind of damage we're doing on this person what kind of damage does this do basically nothing but meanwhile vindicta over here is about to destroy this person's life and livelihood like what's the difference maker here do we die to this we don't thank god i'm not supposed to die to that that's the scary part of uh, how like last one went but look at the damage different man i mean like obviously she's not built so maybe that's what the deal is but like i don't know man i'm just trying to get a feel for it the fact that she can't double tap we might just have a worse vindicta i gotta find out man the, the thing is like i'm not super enthused about building her because who's using demons do you guys know anyone that is like please let me know fill me in because they're a bro you know what i'm saying they know what they're doing apparently because they're the only person doing it right they must be in the know no one's building these things like our damage is non-existent they're anti-psyker as well though so maybe let's find her like a like a shot on a psyker and see if her damage is going to be decent on that i mean her attack stat's crazy but like god she's anti-demon and anti-psyker like what do you want me to say about that like it's it's two different anti she's she's kind of like unfocused she's very unfocused i think that's a good word for it now we're gonna get a lot of damage on a psyker right now uh, we got to figure out how to make it happen. I also barely even set up for this one. This dude's about to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least this is a good uh, chance to, like, see what kind of damage we're doing to Psykers. I mean, that was a lot better. We did a half health a very tanky target just now, which we can't just, like, you know, brush over like that's not a big deal. It is a big deal. That is a very difficult character to, get, like, kill. Just straight facts. Um, We're going to go ahead and boost these two. That way we're at least like in the fight next turn this dude has died though so it doesn't matter as far as like the anti-psyker damage it's it's chill you know what i'm saying it's chill i think that's experiment over time i'm gonna go ahead and get off camera and start running these up before my win rate falls below recovery as far as how i feel about her i mean like i don't know man she's kind of just like like ah she's unfocused man like this is okay right the the two times like a lot of damage all that like that is good but if you compare it to this i mean this is four times hits a lot of damage right this is the aoe queen over here she doesn't exactly have to be anti anything like like she just she's anti-life right anti she has the act of faith as well she has the heavy weapon deals plus 25 percent damage if it has not moved this turn which i mean like she has a lot going for her that a lot of these characters just don't i feel like maybe she's just a worse a vindicta that's my first impression of her that's my first time seeing her i'm gonna build her up man it's gonna be a while before she started up enough but like i'll build her up i don't know how i feel about her man she she's kind of she's kind of meh right now but that's just my th i thought this was a healer the whole time bro either way i'll see you guys in the next one peace out